Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today I have a short video about camera. The camera that I'm filming on. Um, let's just see it. I just happen to have a mirror here to forge. And the camera is there. It might be hard to see because there's a I have a monitor behind me. Let's Move it over here. Oh. There it is. It's a JVC camera, and normally I'm using a lens on it. I have this white white lens that I'm, I'm using on it. And we can just try and put that on. See. I get smaller. And I'm further away now than I am now. So normally I use this lens because then you get more of what what is behind me and everywhere. But it, it as you can probably see it, it does make like a the sides is curving and if I just put this on here You can see in the corners down here there's like some black thing because it shows the edge of the lens here just this thing and I always have to zoom in a little bit just a little bit to remove that corner so but I'm still further away so but today gifts from China and right up here it's a gift they marked the spot it's a gift and it's something to do with camera because what this lens also does is it reduces the light that the camera gets and it it makes these you can see the lens the lens flashes just over my hand there's two dots here and that's um, not really meant to be there or sometimes this looks pretty cool but not always so I have been out shopping I've been on the internet shopping and I have bought some lights for the camera I'll just show it here and it's a ring light that goes outside of the lens so I wanted to put that on and show you how that looks so, and we'll just take the camera and look inside the box here we are and we have a nice manual here and some more paper and here is the ring and the ring it goes on the camera like this something like that and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this does if I'm gonna be able to do that so and it comes with a it's kind of a controller but it's also where the batteries are at it takes four AA batteries in there so I'm gonna try and hook this up and we'll see how it looks okay I've I've mounted the the light on on the on the lens and I have the, the controller here and I'm gonna put in the four AA batteries which are not included but I've got four here uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this I think this is the drawing here is not really there, so it's kind of hard. So, but 
I'm kind of disappointed because I lose a lot of my lens here. All this is just wasted and my yeah. I I really get a lot smaller on this thing. I'm just gonna try and zoom in until that I'm on the screen. Okay, so the lens is absolutely not doing anything for me. But let's see how the light is. Okay, it's bright. <laughs> it's rather bright. And this is just... Oh, I can turn it even more up. Okay, it, it gives out a lot of light. I must say. It helps when I go further away. But Well, I, I do have some difficulties in watching the screen. So, it's like... There's like different settings on this, you can turn up and down. Now we're turning down the light. So this is the minimum amount of light and it's it's good right here. But this is very good. Um, I wanted this for when I'm, I'm filming, uh, doing battery tests and things like that. It would be really cool with some more light. But I really wanted to get further away still. That's not. So this is the camera fully zoomed out. So this is kind of not so good. And this is okay. And it has other functions as well. Is it? It can be used with an uh, with a flash camera. and it makes kind of a flash which is pretty cool just not for not for this wow pretty cool i think i'll try and mount it in a different way i think maybe i can mount it behind the lens so that i don't lose all this okay i think i found an idea now i removed the lens i have it right here and i'm going to place the light uh, on this thing and put it on here and screw in the lens so it goes something like this I have the light ring here and I'm gonna put this on here and screw on the lens oh same problem as before oh yeah I think this is gonna be good This is not bad, and now we just need the mirror, so that you can see what I've done. I can see that I'm, I'm losing some of the lights, then I'll just have to turn it up a more. It's gonna be fine. Oh, that was out. So, this is how it looks now. hard to film it. Maybe I should just turn off the light. Okay, it's hard to film a camera with a mirror. But the light ring is, is on and it even have a mount, you know, like the normal camera mount. Oh there. So that it can go on top of the of the camera.
Okay, this seems to work pretty good. Uh, at least there's a lot of light on my face. It's a bit cold. Um, I could probably put on some some yellow or something to make it warmer, but I could just be cold as ice. Um, it's a bit flimsy. It it's not really stuck very well to the lens, but um, I have a plan to fix that. So uh, I'm gonna try that. And I did also try to mount this on top of my video camera, but uh, video cameras, they don't have these pins. It has these pins uh, for the for the light to be able to to make the blitz and stuff like that and these pins just got stuck down the hole and I used a kind of a couple of minutes to get this off again and it wasn't even on so I don't think I'm gonna mount it up there so but I'm gonna tape it stop okay I found one disadvantage the camera is not really able to see the remote when the thing is on. <laughs> uh, it's probably because the remote is infrared and the light that's coming through towards me is so bright. But what I'm doing here, I'm just putting on some small pieces of tape so that the so that this thing will be on the lens very smoothly. I just need one more and we're good to go. So one more piece of tape and it won't be as wobbly. So I got it on here. The, the light is here. And I took this uh, placer and with this with the set there's a there's a lot of placers, different sizes. And they kind of this one is the 77 millimeter and it actually goes outside of the lens and that was the first one we tried where it, it took too much of the lens but now I can mount this here and it's it's not wobbly anymore at least it's not very wobbly this is factory wobbly so now I can just put on the lens on the camera Turn on the lights. There we are. Oh, that's already on. It has a power saving mode. I didn't know that. Now this is cool. This is cool. It comes with a manual and it's it also you're able to turn on the lights in one side or another side. So I can turn on the lights. Now it's off over here. And now it's off over here, so this is like half of the light and all bright one side. Interesting gadget. It's about forty dollars on on the internet. And me being a big fan of AliExpress, that's where I got it. Um, came in a nice package. And the, the box choose to fall down on the floor. Here it is. I bought this because I was gonna use it on my video camera. So I don't really need all the flash stuff, but it has some some flash options and it it really don't have to recharge. So that's kind of cool. Even though it it uh, it's a bit brighter when when it flashes then when it's just on you can see like it gets really bright for just a second okay I can count the light diodes with my eyes closed now um, but that was a little video introduction to the can I say this A M R no a M A R R 
A N Amaran Amperture. Um, and it's the A H L dash N60. It has shown to be pretty pretty cool and it does what it promises to do. Light up my face. I'm still not rid of this the lens flares. I'll have to uh, work around it. So thank you for watching. Do enjoy my videos, subscribe and I'll find some other funky stuff to show you. Have a nice day.